Minecraft Bedwars is one of the largest trending minigames to ever hit Minecraft. Bedwars has built upon the shoulders of giants. It has taken the best aspects of other classic PvP minigames like Skywars, Capture the Flag, Hunger Games, and has designed one of the most engaging and strategic player versus player interactions Minecraft has to offer. Minecraft multiplayer servers have certainly taken notice, to the point where it seems like any large server nowadays has their own special Bedwars-like minigame. Hypixel has Bedwars, Mineplex has Cake Wars, Cubecraft has Egg Wars, each one copying off each other in one long line of plagiarism that dates back almost 10 years. This raises a few questions. Just how many servers are out there that have their own version of Bedwars? Which server hosts the best version? Can the original creator of Bedwars take legal action on these relentless copycats? Should they? Should Minecraft Bedwars clones be banned? That is what this video is for. I will make an argument to you, the viewer, and the creator of Bedwars, which I will reveal later, to which Bedwars servers should be banned or not. Let's go. Let's start off with what is Bedwars? Bedwars is a player versus player mini game where you collect money at your base, buy items, and then infiltrate your enemy's base and destroy their bed. If you die when your bed is broken, you will be eliminated from the game permanently. You win when everyone else is eliminated and you're the last one standing. Now that we have a grasp on what Bed Wars is, let's take a look at what servers should be banned. Hypixel is the biggest multiplayer server in all of Minecraft. In Hypixel Bed Wars, there are four kinds of currency. Iron, gold, diamond, and emeralds. Iron and gold are generated at your home base and by essentials like blocks, tools, and weapons. Diamonds are usually on the edges of the map, used to buy intangible but very useful upgrades like permanently enchanting your swords with sharpness, encasing your base in a healing aura, or my favorite, rigging your base with a minor fatigue trap. Lastly, there are emeralds which live in the middle of the map and buy overpowered things like invisibility potions, ender pearls, and obsidian. One thing Hypixel does amazing is its special items that aren't native to vanilla Minecraft, like throwable fireballs, pop-up towers, and bridge eggs. They are pretty balanced and really mix up gameplay. Hypixel Bedwars is so fun to its own detriment. It has created a new breed of players who try their hardest, aka the sweats. They speed bridge, they butterfly click, they wait for no man, and will stop at anything to make sure that you die. Example, I was playing with my friend Lucifrog, and before we could even put up a bed defense, our bed was gone. Look at him go! This man literally single-handedly murdered his neighbors in the time it takes to microwave a hot pocket. I have learned that sweats are inevitable, and as the saying goes, if you can't beat them, join them. Yeah, I'm low-key a sweat, but not a hot pocket sweat. Conclusion, Hypixel Bedwars is a clone that should not be banned. Hypixel, as always, was a breath of fresh air, a good standard to judge the next few servers off of. Speaking of good standards, a server which has none, Mindplex. No, I I'm sorry. I will try my best to control myself and be nice to Mindplex. In all honesty, I used to be a Mindplex kid myself. Notice how I said used to. It stinks now. Years ago, they did a big overhaul of the server, booting out some of the best games, Rip Wizards, and prioritized new mini games like Cake Wars. Cake Wars is like Bed Wars, but with a cake. Wow. Instead of being able to break the cake instantly, you have to instead stuff your face full of cake one piece at a time. Cake Wars has three currencies, bricks, emeralds, and nether stars. May I say that those are really weird items to make your currencies. It's as if Mineplex was trying their hardest to not blatantly rip off Hypixel Bedwars. A brief history lesson. Hypixel Bedwars was released on January 19th, 2017. Mindplex Cake Wars was released on November 9th, 2017. That's a difference of nine months. I don't want to say that Mindplex saw the success of Bed Wars on Hypixel and in desperation flung out their own version to cash in on the hype, but I will, because it's probably true. I'm gonna be frank. 
I don't care who copies someone else's minigame. So long as the minigame is good, heck, maybe even better than the original, who are we to throw shade at it? It did not take me long to figure out I do not like Cake Wars. Initially, only bricks spawn at your home base. To obtain the better resources, like emeralds and nether stars, you need to capture these points around the map by standing on them. Once you capture a point, your team's color is proudly displayed, and now your generator at home will generate an additional currency depending on which point you captured. There are four emerald points on the sides of the map, and one nether star point in the center of the map. With bricks, you can buy blocks, armor, tools, everything you could need to win. With emeralds, you can buy better blocks, armor, tools, everything you could need to win. Then there's nether stars, which act as Bedwars diamonds, where you get upgrades like protection, sharpness, haste, and so on. So far, these mechanics seem fine for a good Bedwars game. Yet Mineplex always finds a way to mess things up. Number one, you lose everything on death. Yep, everything. You can grind out an entire set of diamond armor for 60 emeralds, and then boom, one arrow shot, you're in the void, and you're back to square one. All the generators are slow as heck too, so you ain't getting your stuff back anytime soon. Losing everything isn't fun, it's annoying. Number two, they have kits. I understand the strategy of selecting your kit to best synergize with your team, but the best kit by far is the frosting kit. And no surprise, it's one of the hardest to get since you need to get all the achievements, including winning 100 games and getting 1000 kills. The frosting kit gives you snowballs, an item not available in the shop. So now only select people can randomly knock you off bridges, and in extreme cases, they can combo you. I would love to come up with solutions to improve Cake Wars, but in summary, that would just be me saying to make it more like Hypixel Bed Wars. Oh, I forgot to mention Cake Wars on their Bedrock Edition server. It's much better. Mindplex's Cake Wars is a Bed Wars clone that should be banned. Time for a palette cleanser. Cubecraft's Egg Wars. Many people think that Egg Wars was the original Bed Wars, but surprisingly, there's another server that takes seniority over Egg Wars. We'll talk more about this cool server in a minute. But Cubecraft's Egg Wars was released on June 20th, 2016, predating Hypixel Bed Wars by six months, and Mindplex Cake Wars by 15 months. I don't want to spend too much time here, as I'm really excited about the next server, and also, I really don't have much to say about Egg Wars. One of the biggest differences from Bed Wars and Cake Wars is that Egg Wars has food in it. You lose hunger. Needing to buy food seemed more of a burden for me, as I was constantly forgetting to buy it. But for a more experienced player, who cares? Uh, I'm sure it's fine. Like Cake Wars, you lose everything on death. But it's much better than Cake Wars, as not only are the generators fast, but Cubecraft actually has multiple generators throughout your base, making it much more likely that it'll be at least some iron ready for you when you respawn. One of my biggest gripes with Egg Wars was its shop. It had a lot of clicking, and the weird enchantments on the merchandise just made it look busy. I think there was an option to customize a quick buy menu. I didn't do that, so... Maybe you can! <laughs> Honestly, not a big problem. Cubecraft Egg Wars was a good experience, and is a clone that should not be banned. But now, I want to show you the oldest server to ever host a Bed Wars-like minigame. After all my research, I could not find another server that had an older version of Bed Wars. It's a German server called Gome HD. I never heard of this server before this video, but it's doing better than Mineplex and Cubecraft combined, so maybe I'm just out of the loop. Nah. Gome HD hosts Bed Wars. Flat out. Hypixel didn't even have the decency to change the name to something different than Bed Wars. Gome HD Bed Wars was released on the 29th of December, 2013, two and a half years before Cubecraft Egg Wars, three years before Hypixel Bed Wars, and three and a half years before Mindplex Cake Wars. Gome HD clearly takes the cake, bed, and egg when it comes to the oldest version of Bed Wars. Hint, it doesn't. The Bed Wars lore goes further. Stay tuned. Gome HD is a very charming server that reminds me of the servers of yesteryear. To join a game, you have to browse the walls for a sign that updates with what lobbies are open. 
Yes, the shops, maps, texts, and sounds are all unprofessional, but I can only call it charming. It's just good old fashioned bed wars. See here, I just bought some blocks, built over to my neighbors, and destroyed their bed completely in the nude. Of course, I took a beating, then someone broke my bed. I couldn't really tell if someone broke my bed, so I had to look in the chat. Am I the pink team? Am I not the pink team? Wait, did my teammate just die? Wait, is that an arrow coming from my face? Oh well, I enjoyed Gome HD. It lacked polish, but it made up for it in charm. Do not ban Gome HD Bed Wars. It's the granddad of Bed Wars after all. But it's not! There's one last oldest version of Bed Wars I could find, and I was shocked when I found out who the creator of it was. Before I drop the bombshell on the original creator of Bed Wars, why don't you drop a bombshell on that subscribe button? Wow, that was bad. No, but really, subscribing to me and leaving a like would help me out a lot. Remember, subscribing is free, and it only gently places my future videos into your subscription feed. Do it, please. Anyway, the moment you've been waiting for. May I present the original creator of Bed Wars, Exumavoid. Yeah, the YouTuber with 1.6 million subscribers. The Hermitcraft guy. You might know him for his snapshot showcase videos. Nine years ago, he created Rush PvP Bed Wars released on December 5th, 2012. It was just Bed Wars. There was only one map, water flows currency into a hole in which you trade with villagers to get items. Oh, you can also break your own bed. Also, you can just place it back. Too bad the map was made in version 1.4.5, so some of the command blocks aren't working. Hey, Exuma, if you're watching this, you should recreate Rush PvP Bed Wars to rival Hypixel and Mindplex. Wait. Better yet, you're the creator of Bed Wars, so you should take claim to what's yours. You should sue Hypixel, sue Mindplex, sue everyone who copied your idea. But that would be a bad idea because I'm guessing they have much more money than you and more lawyers. You should at least get a little bit of the pie from these large servers. Okay, I'm just gonna cover my butt. I am not a lawyer. Please do not listen to me. That's it! Mindplex Cake Wars copied Hypixel Bed Wars, Hypixel Bed Wars copied Cubecraft Egg Wars, Cubecraft Egg Wars copied Gome HD Bed Wars, and Gome HD Bed Wars copied Exumavoid. Minecraft Bed Wars clones should be banned, if they're bad. And from what we've learned today, not that many are. Except Cake Wars. I hate Cake Wars.